Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a breakdown. What I'll do is I'll do a tear down and disassemble the laptop, and I'll tell you each of the parts, the component, whether you can do the repair yourself or maybe do an upgrade yourself. So this video here would explain to you each of those steps. Uh, this is the ASUS gaming laptop. As you can see that um, I'll show it to you on the keyboard part. So as you can see, this is the keyboard here. The ASDW, it comes with transparent keyboard, okay? So this is the lighting keyboard. It comes with it. It's not like it's black and it's worn out, nothing like that. Uh, there's a little sticker here and a touchpad, and I'll show it to you the uh, LCD screen. So here's the LCD screen. There's a webcam in the front and a microphone as well. All right, so here on the side, um, one of the left side of the computer it doesn't have anything on it on the other side here you can see there is a power uh, charging port here ethernet hdmi usb 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 and a microphone jack oh sorry not a microphone oh uh, yeah the, the, the headphone jack um and i'll show you the model number here so this is the asus fx505d and um, i'll show you on how to do that uh, to break it down and explain to you the repair and the upgrade in this video so if you find this video is helpful please go ahead and subscribe click the like button and the notification bell it really helps me and get me motivated to make more of this type of video for you um, so I really appreciate if you can just smash the like button and that that way it really helps me to to get going with this um, this channel so uh, let me say thank you to you first for doing that and let's get started so all you need to have is a Phillips screwdriver go ahead and um, remove the screws so the screws here on the top they are longer screws And the screws right here in the middle is, is a lot shorter. Okay, as you can see, this is much shorter screw. So the screws are not the same, so make sure you remember where to put them back later on. And, um, and I'll explain to you, the one in the middle is short and the four screws at the bottom, they are short. The rest of the top and the side, the both left and right, the screws are much longer. All right, so once you have all the screws removed, the next thing you need to do is to get um, a prying tool and you want to pry open the back cover. I usually start on the side because the side is the weakest point and easy to get in between and just go ahead and try to st stick it in okay there you go so once you have the back cover removed just put that on the side here i'll explain to you what you can see there's a heat sink right here so the cpu and the graphics card they are soldered onto the motherboard but they all run on the same copper heat sink and these two here are your cpu fan that exhaust the that exhaust the heat away from the computer all right so let me go ahead and remove the battery first so there's a one screw is holding onto the battery and you need to disconnect the cable so i'm using my two fingernail and kind of get in between this white plastic here and slide it down towards my body all right so i slide it down and that's how I disconnect the battery. Once the cable is disconnected, so go ahead and put the battery on the side. Oops. Let me go ahead and tell you the model number first. So if the battery is not holding the charge, and if the battery is like, let's say, um, you know, only lasted you for like half an hour or maybe one hour during the game time. So more likely the battery is, is going bad for, you, for your case, and you might want to replace the battery. So the model here, if you want to look it up, is going to be B31N1726-1. 
And if you see your battery is swollen, like it's uh, lumped, that means the battery is bad and you need to do a replacement for that. All right, so once the battery is removed, the next step I like to explain to you is where your hard drive is. So here you can see there's a slot. This is the 2.5 inch uh, additional bay where you can install an additional hard drive. So if you're thinking about installing the uh, uh, an SSD drive or maybe like the uh, the regular HDD drive as a secondary so you got to remove this um, this this metal here so this is the tray so remove the tray so the two screws holding onto the tray remove the tray and install the hard drive okay you want to put the screws on I'm not sure where you can find the screws because because it doesn't come with it and once you have the screw installed go ahead and slide the hard drive back in and put the two screws back on that's how you install the secondary hard drive alright so this video here I'm not going to do the secondary hard drive I'm just going to put this on the side but you do need to have the two screws that lock it down on both sides all right, so come back to the main, uh, come back to the main part here. So the main hard drive is still on this one, okay? So you still have this M.2 NVMe uh, SSD drive. So to remove it, there's one screw right here. Go ahead and unscrew. Once you unscrew, make sure you save the screw, and you can slide this SSD to your left. All right. Lift it up a little bit and then slide it to your left. That's how you remove it. Okay, once you remove that, oh, by the way, this is this has all your information on it, okay? So the next step here I'd like to show you is your RAM. So this is your DDR RAM 4. Uh, DDR RAM, uh, DDR4 RAM here is the 8 gigabytes. You have a secondary, a secondary slot. This slot here allows you to add additional 8 gigs, so you can do 8 and 8, total of 16. To add a RAM or to remove a RAM, you use your two fingernail, push the bolt clipper on the both sides, push it, push it to your left and right, just go, go the, the opposite direction, and the RAM would pop up, tilt slightly a little bit. And once it's tilt, just pull the RAM towards your body. And for this angle, you're going to pull away from the body, all right? So that's how you uh, remove a RAM. To install the RAM, same direction, but in, in a reverse way. So slide it in first, so push it away from your body, and then just push it down. And you can hear the clipper locks it. All right, so let's come back to this main right here. Um, I think the next step I'll try to do is to... Uh, show you how to remove the DC jack connector So here's your uh, charging port connector. So this is the cable what you want to do is you want to uh, pull the cable away from your body Okay, that's how you pull it away from your body and then there's a hinge right here. So this hinge has two screw And then once you're done with that, go ahead and lift the hinge up to about 90 degree angle. And you can see that the DC jack would come right out. Alright, so if you have anything that's stuck in here and you want to remove it, that's how you do it. And if you want to find the parts for the replacement, go ahead and look for this FX505. GD or GE. Okay, this is the DC jack right on this cable here this is actually your lcd screen there's a little clipper here so get the fingernail go ahead and open up the clipper the way to open the clipper i just gonna flip it up right so when the clipper is flipped up and you can just lift the cable the lcd cable uh, just like this just lift it up all right that's how you remove that disconnect that cable this is your cpu fan so there are two screws that's holding onto the CPU fan. So let me go ahead and remove the two screws. 
So once the two screws is removed, uh, oops, you can actually you, you're not allowed to to remove the CPU fan unless you remove the heat sink. So oh well, um, I'll show it to you. So get the two fingernail stuck underneath that, and then push it away from your body. Push it away, and then the CPU. See if I can slide it out. You can actually slide it, slide it out. Okay, you don't have to remove the heat sink. Just lift the heat sink as this. This is the CPU. You can slide it underneath and slide it out. Okay, so this is the CPU. Just put this on the side. I'll bring it here. Let's do the second CPU. So go ahead and remove the two screws. All right, I need to disconnect this. So I'm using my two fingernails and slide it to my left. That's how I remove the, the CPU cable. See what else is attached here. So there's some kind of tape is still taping onto this. Okay, and see if I can slide it out. Oops. I'm sorry, for this CPU on your left, it's actually three screws. Not two screws, but three screws. Okay, lift it up a little bit and I can slide out the um, the hits, uh, the CPU fan. Alright, so for those of you who wants to replace the motherboard, right? So you want to, you know, you have a bad motherboard, you spill, you know, your coffee or your water, anything that the motherboard is fried and you need to do a replacement, it's pretty simple. So far, you're like 80% is done. The rest of it, all you need to do is to disconnect all the cables, right? So go ahead and disconnect your Wi-Fi card. Disconnect the uh, the 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 cable here for your um, keyboard lighting. This is your touchpad. Flip open that little clipper and then slide the cable out. This is the touchpad. Open up the clipper, slide the keyboard out, right? And then this is your speaker. So the speaker here, you can just push it down, slide the connector, and that's how you, that's how the speaker. Um, cable comes out and then pretty much you just got to remove the screws there's one here one two three four five so once you remove about five screws and this en entire motherboard will just come right out okay simple as that now I'm not going to do that on this motherboard here uh, because I think it's very straightforward I'll just explain it to you and I think you get the picture now if you want to replace the keyboard, right? So if, if you're watching this video and you say, hey, my keys are not working, I want to replace my keyboard. Technically, you have to replace entire keyboard with the palm rest. Because I look at it, the way the manufacturer make the keyboard is, there's no screws or anything that's holding onto the keyboard. It's a punch down. So you see these little black dots here? They're all punched down by the manufacturer. So the keyboard is glue or not glue like pinned down by the punch down on all this uh, all this thing, and and you cannot just remove it because it would the keyboard would not go back on properly. Okay, so when you replace this, you have to replace entire um, palm rest with this one. So meaning that you have to replace entire of this, entirely the entire part of this. All right. So I'm sorry if I break that bad news to you, but that's how it is. So I think uh, this is pretty much it. And then uh, if you have any question, please comment below. Um, I really appreciate if you click the like button. That helps me. And um, yeah, if you need help besides, the, besides this Asus computer, let's say if you have a different computer and you need help, just comment below. Let me know what you need help with. I'm more than happy to answer the question and give you the guidance and help you through the video. Alright, so take care until next time and I'll see you folks. Bye.